and it's it's quite it's quite wild just how much there's been an elevation of certain parts of society and i say certain parts because there's there's a lot of folk that really have not had a market change to their situation you know the number that the top 50 individuals in the world have as much as the bottom 50 percent and the top eight most wealthy individuals men uh, in the world their wealth has doubled over the last two years and so it's become quite concentrated but if we go all the way back you know wealth was really um, the basis of the way that you could get it for the longest time in humanity was through inheritance. So it was really family wealth, and it was um, often a uh, a bit of a closed party to those that didn't have that backstory. And so, um, you know, the beginning of humanity, 150 odd thousand years ago, you know, we grew and accumulated. We had the um, the city state to start with. Um, then we went to the nation state. I think we are now moving to the corporate state in terms of the, the control and influence that corporates have over the world, which is a little bit scary. Um, yeah. And because their, their their morals, their values are not always aligned with the needs of the many. They're aligned with the needs of the few, the, state, the stakeholders they serve, which is their shareholders and their directors and customers, um, hopefully. Um, but the wealth creation thing was really spurred along by the um, the second real kind of revolution that happened for humanity. It was the first industrial revolution, which was powered by steam, the late 1700s. 